Hey guys! In this tutorial, I'll be going over this steampunk under the sea look. It's basically what I think more people would look like in the steampunk world. Starting off, I'm applying a white all over my lid as a base so the bright colors I use later will be really vibrant and pop. Then I'm just blending out the edges with my fingers to make sure that there won't be any harsh lines. Next I applied some tape to the outer corner of my eye to get a nice clean line and I'm now blending a reddish brown in and above my crease. I'm putting a white shadow on my brow bone as a highlight and to help the blending process. Taking a bright lime green, I'm just packing it into my inner corner. Next, I'm taking a regular green and placing that on about a third of my lid, then blending it with the lime green. Next, I'm packing on a vibrant blue into my outer corner. And blending. And blending. And blending and blending some more. After all that's blended out, I'm using a purple and placing that into the very outer corner in a V shape, as well as throughout the crease. I'm fading the purple into that white highlight on the brow bone from earlier, using a clean brush with no added product. Windshield wiping motions work best for blending such a large area like this. Peel off the tape to make it look a thousand times better. Now I'm using an angled brush to swipe some blue and green shadow under the lower lash line. I'm tight lining with a black liner. Then I'm filling in my waterline with white. Using a black liquid liner, I'm doing some wings. Then using a gold liquid liner, I'm making a smaller wing right on top of the black one. If you make a mistake with the gold liner, just go back over it with the black. No one will ever know what happened. Next, I'm curling my lashes, adding mascara, and applying some fake lashes because every mermaid has got some luscious lashes. And that's it for the eye makeup. Moving on to the face, I'm putting some foundation on with clean hands, emphasis on clean. I'm just using this to create an even base for the next step. Using a damp sponge, I'm applying a metallic bronze cream shadow all over my face, ears, neck, chest, and shoulders. I wanted the skin to resemble metal, hence the metallics. To make sure there are no streaks and that's even, I'm using a blending brush all over the bronze color I just applied. To add some depth, I'm contouring all the normal places using a darker metallic eyeshadow, again using a damp sponge. I'm contouring the temples, forehead, hollows of the cheeks, jawline, and the nose. I'm going way overboard on the nose contour so I look just a little bit more inhuman. Next, I'm going in with a shimmery champagne eyeshadow and using this as a highlighter. I'm putting it on the cheekbones, cupid's bow, forehead, nose, and chin. Moving on to the chest, I'm just contouring and highlighting my collarbones. bones. 
Now we're going to get real sexy and pull on some fishnet tights over my face. I'm using Silver Cream Shadow on my sponge and patting that on top of the fishnets. Make sure you pat, not swipe, or else your scales are going to get way messed up. I'm doing this all over my forehead and down the sides of my face to my cheekbones. I also put it over my lips, but just ignore that because I remove it later. Now on my shoulders and a part of my neck, I'm freehanding the same design that the fishnets made. Yeah. Using the same silver on the sides of my neck, I'm drawing on a couple lines to mimic gills. Next I'm using a dark brown shadow and shading every scale. Every. Single. Scale. This is the most time consuming part, but it makes a huge impact on how well the scales stand out. I'm also shading the underside of each gill. For my lips, I'm filling them in with a bronze lipstick, then tapping on the same champagne shadow I used as a highlighter. On the very center of my lips, I'm tapping on some green shadow for a nice gradient effect. Back to my eyes, I'm using a gold liquid liner and doing almost a reverse wing, then two more smaller lines branching off from that. Then with a silver liquid liner, I'm highlighting each line. Then I'm taking two self-adhesing pearls and placing them near my eye where dermals are typically installed. I'm putting on a faux septum piercing that looks like a gear, and then I'm covering any exposed skin with the metallic bronze cream shadow. Lastly, I'm filling my brows in with blue. And that is the finished look. You can now be a steampunk mermaid. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like it. Till next time, peace out, Girl Scout.